A new way for kids to study and explore. Tick tock, tick tock, the clock on the wall. It tells us the time with its hands big and small. Round and round the hands go, never taking a rest. Let's learn about the clock and be time telling best. The big hand is the minute. It moves quite slow. Each tick of the second hand helps it to go. 60 ticks of the second hand, the big hand moves a space. And when it reaches 12, the next hour we face. The small hand is the hour, it points to the time. It tells us the hour with its steady climb. From 1 to 12, it goes around twice, morning to evening, and day turns to night. When both hands point to 12, it's a brand new hour, time for something new, like lunch or a shower. If the big hand's on the 6th, that means it's half past. It's important to know, so the time doesn't slip past. So listen to the tick-tock. It's your time-telling friend, morning to evening, from beginning to end. Tick-tock, tick-tock, the clock's gentle chime. Now you're a pro at telling the time. Tick-tock, tick-tock, the clock on the wall. It tells us the time with its hands big and small. Round and round the hands go, never taking a rest. Let's learn about the clock and be time telling best. The big hand is the minute. It moves quite slow. Each tick of the second hand helps it to go. 60 ticks of the second hand the big hand moves a space, and when it reaches 12, the next hour we face. The small hand is the hour, it points to the time, it tells us the hour with its steady climb. From 1 to 12, it goes around twice, morning to evening, and day turns to night. When both hands point to 12, it's a brand new hour, time for something new, like lunch or a shower. If the big hand's on the 6th, that means it's half past, it's important to know, so the time doesn't slip past. So listen to the tick-tock, it's your time-telling friend, morning to evening, from beginning to end. Tick tock, tick tock, the clock's gentle chime. Now you're a pro at telling the time.